Okay, so hello friends. These are my eyes. This is literally my skin. No makeup on. No, I, I kind of need to tweeze my eyebrows a bit. But as you can tell, I don't really have a lot of eyelashes. So this is why I kind of want to do this. This is why I like to wear false eyelashes just in general. When you do this, you want to have literally no oil on your skin, no makeup. I feel like I lightweight have makeup, but I shouldn't because I don't really wear mascara. So just to be sure, I'm going to be taking this guy right here. Damn, you guys can hella see that. This is the benefit. It's like a, I think it's just literally for your eyes. It's a little eye makeup remover. This one is just going to help you with taking off any extra makeup because like I said, you don't want any makeup. You don't want any oils just so they can stick a little bit better onto your eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit and squeeze a little bit of it, fuck, on the top of a cotton tip just so it's easier. I also showered before doing this. That would be good too to make sure you have like nothing. Be careful. Don't poke your eye. Take off all the oil from your lashes and there. You should be good. Yes! First step done. Every little like lash thing that I have is in this. This is what we're going to be using. This shit is $9.99. These guys right here you can choose from short ones or long ones. Dude, we're so zoomed up to my face. So these are $3.99 and this shit is so inexpensive so I keep everything in here just so I don't lose track of anything I'm gonna be using this little compact mirror because I don't have anywhere to place my big mirror so this is gonna be a little bit harder for me but for you guys just get like a mirror probably if it has like the magnetic side and the kit comes with this this is what's gonna help you take off your eyelashes once you're freaking tired of them and you don't want them anymore and then this one right here is the glue and then these tweezers bruh these are so bomb these work so good even if you just want to like tweeze your eyebrows I fucking love them I already have another one and these are the lashes that we're gonna be using too so starting I'm gonna be taking the longer eyelash and I'm gonna be starting with those and putting them all right here and the medium ones will go like all from like right here to right there and then the short ones I can put them closer that is what the long lash looks like that looks so freaking creepy I hope I hope that this video is very helpful for you guys because I know I ain't got the funds to be paying someone to do some eyelash extensions for like over a hundred dollars. So I like this because you get to choose how full you want your eyelashes, how long you want them, and you get to take them off really easy. I'm gonna look up and I'm gonna put it right at the end. Woo! Holy shit, I did it! There we go, the first one is on. Holy fuck, this is sticking so good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take another one of the long ones. That's kind of where I'm starting. It's so crazy how eyelashes can like change your eyes. Like I fuck with eyelashes so hard. Same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and pop it right under my lashes. And there we go, we got our second part on. It's really easy to do it. It's just honestly so time consuming the last time or the first time I did this it took me literally like one hour and a half one hour to one hour and a half so I'm gonna go ahead and put music over the next part as I'm doing my eye just because it's literally the same thing repeating and then you put on medium ones where you want to make them look more full and then you put the short ones right here so yeah I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and I will see you guys once I'm done with both of them I'm just gonna be doing this one just literally for time It's all about you, it's all about me, it's all about what we do Making art, you and me Trying to find something to believe Because I'm running wild, I ain't running free Still got a lot of shit left to see I'm Stuck in this town, and the town's stuck in me Always trying to find another reason to leave But we sit at home, all alone Hoping one day I'll never be known I'm stuck on the bottom, trying to feel on top Wishing everything would just come to a stop Cause we're trying to fill the holes in our souls we're Trying to feel the music, let it take control Stuck on the bottom, trying to feel on top Wishing everything would just come to a stop
All right, guys, so this is the final look. I wanted to do my makeup really quick. I added a wig, a little beanie, just because I wanted to be a little extra. I mean, I did my lashes, and I was like, let me just get ready for the rest of the day, just in case I go out or whatever. I'll go ahead and zoom you guys in, actually, just so you can see. Ooh! So these are the lashes by themselves. You can make them dramatic. You can make them literally less dramatic than this. All I did was add mascara on the bottom. As you guys saw in the last clips I was just putting them on and then you can add as much as you want like until you prefer this is what I prefer so just do whatever you want but this is pretty much the final look of them I feel like they're really I like eyelash extensions just because look like I didn't put any eyeshadow on and nothing I don't know I just find it so much easier and my, I literally did my makeup in like 45 minutes and then really quick just some pointers for makeup application I do recommend Men, do not do winged eyeliner. I know for me it was a little bit hard to stop because I was like how the fuck am I gonna do my makeup without any eyeliner? But I got used to it and then now like I really don't even do winged eyeliner. It does save me time. So don't do winged eyeliner if you want to go ahead but I just feel like in my opinion I feel like if you don't do winged eyeliner it's gonna be easier to remove your makeup which is gonna make your eyelashes last a little bit longer. When I shower I don't wet my face. I do all of like my washing like washing my face stuff outside of the shower so like with the little benefit eye makeup remover that I showed you guys I will take like a little cotton swab and I will carefully do it around if I if I do decide to do some eyeshadow I'll carefully like take off my makeup like that oh and then I also when I sleep I don't sleep straight on my face I have to be careful and not touch the eyelashes just because I feel like they're pretty fragile so when I sleep I just kind of like stay on the side kind of of, but just little things like that will make your eyelashes last longer and they don't they'll stay like put in place a lot better than if you do wash your face under the shower head like with all the water coming out just try to use common sense don't mess with them don't pluck them out because I did kind of tug at them last time when I had them and I try to like take them off a little bit just so I can see like how stuck they were and they were pretty stuck on and I was like holy shit like I'm gonna just take it easy and like I showed you guys in the beginning it has the little eye remover thing or eyelash remover thing so just take like a flat cotton pad or whatever and then leave it on here if you really want to take them off I really like them like I said they make your makeup routine a lot faster and my lipstick or lip liner is stripped down from MAC and then I put I just got this yesterday the Too Faced lip injections just the original one. Oh, it matches it like stings for like five to ten minutes and then it goes away but I just got it because why not that's gonna be the whole video I hope that this was helpful I hope that you guys can go ahead and try this yourselves and you end up loving it because I like doing this a lot I feel like I feel like it looks cool like it's easy why not I will see you guys in the next video and thank you guys so much all right bye